Union, the Lovers in the Tarot, and the Hieros Gamos. The Lovers is a tarot card, the sixth trump or major arcana card in most traditional tarot decks, and it symbolises an event variously called Union, or the Mystic Marriage, Iris Gamos, the Chemical Wedding, plus the host of other synonyms. It represents the symbolic joining of the masculine and feminine, which is a key step on the spiritual path, without which progress ceases. Contact usually takes place after rebirth, winter, midnight, and then proceeds over the purification stage, getting stronger all the time, if purification is successful, until union occurs. Some explanations, even some tarot cards, try to link the tarot card of the lovers with the star sign Gemini. But this would be incorrect. Gemini shows twins of the same sex. And Gemini symbolism is different. The Masculine and Feminine The Feminine The Feminine symbolically is artistic, intuitive, emotional, but lacking in intellect and occasionally reason. Although symbolically feminine, it does not relate to actual gender. Many very artistic and intuitive people have been men like Leonardo da Vinci. Symbolically, it is associated with the right brain, possibly because left-handed and thus right-brained people are often feminine. Within the mind, the subconscious is known as the feminine, with its emotions and links to the immortal soul, the higher spirit and the feminine is the door to spiritual experience, without that link between masculine and feminine. All spiritual progress ceases. The masculine. The masculine symbolically is intellectual. Although symbolically masculine, it does not relate to actual gender, women can be masculine symbolically, like Marie Curie. The masculine within the mind is the conscious self and thus includes the ego and sense of self. The combination of a strong intellect and ego completely block the feminine, the key to spiritual progress, and thereby deny the person access to inspiration, wisdom and a whole host of beneficial spirit input. The masculine is not artistic or intuitive and hardly ever deeply emotional. It has a well-developed memory, but may be willful, even cunning, because of its focus on desires and its misuse of reason. The masculine will use dogged determination and long, patient hours of effort to get what it wants because it has no ability to devise a solution based on inspiration. The benefits of the marriage 
The masculine has one absolutely key function. It is able to reason. And indeed, when emotion is high in the feminine, access to reason is almost eliminated. But the masculine, without the feminine, can only reason using memory, a very limited resource, which is often out of date and flawed, and it has no direct access to inspiration. But the feminine without the masculine is unable to make sense of the wisdom, inspiration and intuitive feelings it is showered with. As such, masculine and feminine must form a bond, a close bond, as though they were one, in order to make any form of progress, spiritually or intellectually, they must dance in step. Yin and Yang In ancient Chinese philosophy, yin and yang symbolize complementary opposites, black and white, or red, fire, and blue, water. The universe is dependent on these opposites existing. The wheel turns by their opposition, but they are interconnected, and this is shown in the diagram by having a small circle in each of the two segments with the colour of its opposite within itself. And so normally the masculine contains a small measure of the feminine and vice versa, the feminine a small measure of the masculine. Thus a human being will never be entirely feminine or entirely masculine, unless they are bipolar, in which case Mania is the uncontrolled feminine mind and depression is the uncontrolled masculine mind. And this results in different types of union being needed or possible. The main two are close union, when union is often symbolically shown by androgyny, and loose union, represented by cords, ties and entanglement. And these two types are occasionally shown on the tarot card, the lovers, using different pictorial representations. Close Union and Androgyny Close Union is the merging between the subconscious and the conscious of a single mind. It is achieved via spiritual activities, all of which seek to silence the chatter in the conscious mind. All are described on our website www allaboutheaven.org For example, suppress, quiet the memory, squash the ego, the big I am, reduce desires and obligations. The higher spirit is shown as Eros in the lover's tarot card here, hovering over the couple, male and female, but hidden by a canopy, the veil. Here the card represents the balancing of the two aspects of the mind, the conscious masculine principle and the subconscious feminine principle. By balancing the two principles, one has achieved a unity, a wedding, in which the subconscious side is united with the conscious side. They become inseparable. The result is symbolically shown using androgyny, Shamans often dress in an androgynous way to indicate they have reached this state. But in the UK, the symbolism is preserved in pantomime, with the use of pantomime dames 
and principal boys. Pantomime has been described as a dramatic entertainment originated in Italian mime accompanied by music. The mime has long since been replaced by humour, songs and words, but it attempts using old nursery rhymes and folk tales to preserve ancient symbolism. And androgyny is one of the symbols used. The pantomime dame is a man dressed as and pretending to be a woman. And the principal boy is a girl dressed as and pretending to be a young man. Loose Union Chords, Ties and Entanglement More often the nature of one's destiny, the timing of the entry under the spiritual path and the skills needed result in loose union between people or animals. Loose union is when two or more human beings form a union of minds to achieve progress on the spiritual path. They meet and a bond is formed between them, a mental bond, but one which gets stronger and stronger, until eventually they live and work almost as one, each complementing the other, providing the functions the other does not possess. They may actually marry, but they may also never meet. The bond is forged through letters, emails and phone calls. This type of union may be shown in the lover's tarot card as a king and queen, crowned. But with a child or third being sometimes present. And this third being then represents the child of their union, the creation they have produced together, the baby that gets on the road. But this child is itself a symbol. The child of the union may simply be a creation in the widest sense, a painting, a piece of music, a metaphysical idea, even a video. The union is forged in love and the baby thus produced is as special and holy as a real baby. But the feminine remains a virgin as no sex is ever involved. The Playlist Patronage as a form of union Perhaps the oddest union that can occur is that between a patron and an artist or musician. This is George Martin with the Beatles. A patron is someone who financially and intellectually, the masculine, supports an artist of some sort, the feminine, protecting them, guiding them, giving them support and work. The patron may not be able to advance spiritually, particularly when they take the masculine role, as they may need power and wealth. And an almost impervious ego to attain the power and wealth that prevents all forms of spirit input reaching them for example the Medicis. But those they support, once released from all necessity to display any masculine traits, may blossom, like Michelangelo or Caravaggio. The 
and the patron may gain the wisdom, insight and inspiration he or she is directly denied by gaining it indirectly, like Catherine the Great. If you were an artist in days gone by, like Raphael, and had a powerful patron, like the Pope and Church, your financial security was all but guaranteed, and all your everyday needs, house and food, were provided for you, leaving you able to be creative. Occasionally, with remarkable freedom to choose the subject, this is La Donna Gravida, The Pregnant Woman, by Raphael. So we have provided guest videos in the playlist of cases where loose unions of artists with a patron produced extraordinary works of art and music. George Martin, a documentary by the BBC. The Medicis by Rick Steves. Tchaikovsky's Symphony No. 4 in F minor, dedicated to his patron, Nadia Zda Filariratovna von Meck. Von Meck was a Russian businesswoman, best known today for her artistic relationship with Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky, supporting him financially for 13 years but they never met. Mech wrote to Tchaikovsky, I am very unsympathetic in my personal relations because I do not possess any femininity whatever. I do not know how to be tender. The general nature of our family relationships is comradely or masculine, so to speak. 